friends, I'm Kazel and welcome back to the 2023 Digital Planner Creation Masterclass. In the last video, we have created this digital notebook page template and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add some binders to this, so let's begin. To add our element, go to the plus icon and for the holes, I'm going to use the circle. I have resized this shape to around 9 points and then for the color, I'm going to use the gradient to make it look like there is depth to this shape. For the start color, I'm going to use a dark shade and then the end color, a lighter shade of gray. Then adjust the angle so that the darker color is in the upper left corner of the circle. Let's reposition this to the edge of one of the pages and then duplicate it for the hole for the other page. When repositioning, you can use the ruler to make sure that the holes are aligned. For the binder part, I'm going to use this shape and I just resize it to fit the size of the holes. Once satisfied with the size, let's also change the color. I am again going to use the gradient effect. Now let's select the three elements and then group them. And it looks like that this is a little small, so I resize the group. Since I want this to be properly aligned, let's go back to the presentation mode and turn on the guides if they are not yet turned on. Then go back to the slide layout and then duplicate this group. Then we are going to repeat the process of duplicating these elements until you reach the other end of the notebook. Make sure that you are using the guides to properly center the binders. And to make the process faster, once you have created some of the binders, you can select multiple of them and then copy and then paste. And here, watch me struggle on deleting the excess binder at the bottom. Once you have added all the binders, let's select all of them. and then top done, and then group. And now we can use the guide to center the group of binders. And once you are satisfied with the placement, select the group and then lock them up. We lock the elements up so that we won't accidentally reposition them when we are working on the other elements. Let me know if you have any questions and if you are interested in learning more designs of digital binders for your digital notebook or digital planner, let me know by commenting more digital binders in the comment section and see you in the next video. Bye!